Hello everyone, welcome back to Pause From Plays Illusion of Gaia. So we have a pretty big thing to do right now in the pyramid. Surprise! There's a new statue. So it comes to light that the true reason we went to Angkor Wat is because that the dark power there was extremely strong. We've kind of unlocked it. And Guy actually gives us an item to use with our new form, the aura. Apparently the aura is Shadow's Mind. And she gives us some hints that we're going to need to be Shadow to continue. So let's go do that. Shadow is apparently made from the comet. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be will, close your eyes, or well. But now we are going to become Shadow, the ultimate warrior. Essentially, an entirely new character to play with. He has an extremely long reach, does very high damage attacks very quickly, and he has unique power, but we have to equip the aura in order to use it. And when we use it, it turns us into a puddle. This serves two purposes. For one, we can actually go through floors in certain places now, and the other, it actually works as a dodge. But you have to have it equipped. It doesn't, he doesn't get any uh, regular charge powers or anything like that. That's not where I meant to go. <laughs> Let's try that again. Um, we actually need to go... We need to use... Oh, wow. I forgot these were going to come back. We need to use the aura to continue here. And I don't remember specifically where it is we need to go. So let me just turn back in the shadow here. thought there was actually a room... Uh, to the right there. I think I might just need to go to the top of the stairs. Or maybe it's in the center. Jesus, it's been a little while here. Um, I do know that there are six separate sections of the pyramid, though. Each one can be done with a different character. I think this is the area... Yeah, here we go. So we'll slowly travel down this way. Okay, I didn't pass it, that's good. I think we have to do it again, or there's there's a red jewel there, there we go. Um, there are four red jewels, I believe, in this dungeon. I'm gonna have to double check on some of them. We should be able to do that again. Go further down through the floor. And this blue portal here will take us back up, I believe. So there are six doors here, and a dark space. I'm actually gonna save here. And I believe we can switch characters here? Yes, we can. So each one of these doors is intended to be completed by a different form. Um, you can see Shadow's dive there. Uh, three of them are intended for Shadow, two of them for Will, and one of them probably best done by Freedom, but can be done with anyone. So two, three, and five are Shadow, so we'll start with those. We have our new theme here. So you're going to see these guys a lot. It's kind of laser orbs. Um, also, this is Shadow's blocking telekinesis. Um, unlike the other characters, he can actually block from all directions. Pretty neat. I don't believe we can block the attacks of those orbs, though. I think there's actually something hidden here. Usually when you see some bricks below the floor, that's a hint that that's a place you can use aura. So let's try that. I think there might be something here. Oh, there's a staircase here. Another path down. Hmm. We have these bird warriors. They can only be hit from behind the shield or when they're attacking. They're pretty dangerous. 
So that's all the enemies in here. Uh, there might be... Oh, that's not where I thought that was going to go at all. Um, was there a treasure chest in here? No, there's not. Okay. I think the rest of the red jewels are in treasure chests, so... Should be pretty safe. There is a treasure chest here. I don't think those orbs cause contact damage, which is good. Um, as you can see, Shadow does a lot of damage. It's very handy. And a lot of what we have to do here is really just kind of brute forcing some of these locations. I see the treasure chest there. We actually do a trick here. I think I can come through the floor here. And we can kind of sneak around to get these guys from behind without putting ourselves at risk. A good shot of Shadow's blade arm there. There's another red jewel, so that's two. And that takes care of this section. Uh, maybe we have to go through here? Nope. Hmm. Uh, the goal of each one of these sections is to find one of the hieroglyphs that we saw in Will's father's journal. Going down there isn't going to do anything. Same with this section here. I don't think going through there is going to do anything either. It's worth trying, though. I'm pretty sure this is just going to take us to where we just were. I do like the, the cleverness of showing those bricks below the floor kind of as the hint of where to go. Oh no, this actually does take me to a different place. Okay, that's good. I don't think we want to jump down there just yet. Here we go, here's the hieroglyph. The lithograph, I suppose. And each one of these corresponds to a spot on the wall. Um, the trick is that while you can look at the journal for more information, each one also just kind of, it goes in order. Whatever door you found it in is where it goes. I actually did not want to go down there. Um, I looked over to my cat for a second. Uh, yeah, so let's go back. I think I have to go back up here to do that. And I'll show off that portal. I believe it takes me all the way back to the beginning of the pyramid, but we'll find out here in a second. You see our defense is pretty high, but the enemies can still do a decent amount of damage here. Also, I'm not sure if it shows up on the recording. Uh, it might not because the way the invincibility frames are flickering works, but there's actually a little ball of little ball of blue goo when Shadow is going through the floor like that. And that person is not here anymore. But let's take our lithograph and put it in. Uh, we want to put this second from the left. Now I think you can put these in totally out of order and you just get no indication whether or not they're correct until it just doesn't work. It should also be noted that this isn't technically the final dungeon, but it is where we get all of the remaining power up so any additional upgrades we will get will be here we'll max out our health strength defense all of that all right so second third and fifth so we'll do another one with shadow yeah let me try to block this yeah you can't unfortunately you can't which is too bad because it'd be a good time to show off his blocking it actually makes um a lot of this stuff just 
brute forced. There is a treasure chest here. Oh, there's actually a ramp there for Will. Hmm, that's curious. That, you know what, that might be where the treasure chest is for this one. Let me try... Go back out and get that. I might be misremembering the order on these, but... I know for sure that's a thing for Will, so let's at least go grab that right now. And I'll do a health refill as well once we get back. So we should be able to come over here and do a little spin dash. Uh, I forgot that I need to hold the button instead of just tap it. There we go. Ah, yes. This must be a red jewel. All right, good. Yeah, I'm not sure there are any herbs in here, so we might not have the last uh, few herbs. Uh, that is... Oh. oh, there's an enemy here. That's right. I totally forgot about these. You get a glimpse of it there, that bird head, um, but they are totally invisible vast majority of the time. In fact, they might only appear when they die. Those actually become quite a bit of a pain to deal with. Uh, I'm actually going to go back and turn back into shadow here. Just for safety and damage. I don't believe we need will here. And that was the third door, right? Yeah, I think Will is only needed for the first and the fourth. There we go, back to Shadow. I believe in general Shadow's damage is higher. I know his reach is slightly longer than Freedon's. Um, I believe his damage is slightly higher as well. I'm not totally sure on that. But... Sadly, the aura is his only power. It doesn't really compare to the Dark Friar. That bird soldier was very, very confused. Eight more enemies here. I like his dash animation too. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I actually don't remember if we can fall off of this. No, we can't. There's a switch there. I might be able to go up and then drop down. Wait, that definitely seems like a Dark Fire thing, though, doesn't it? Maybe we come up on the other side. Yeah, because with the Dark Friar, we'd definitely be able to hit that switch, I'm pretty sure. Well, let's continue on for now. If I need to get freed in, then we will do so. Oh, okay, so here's some of those invisible enemies again. There we go. Four enemies left. You'll notice, too, that while you can block from any direction with Shadow's telekinesis, uh, you can't actually pull in items from any direction. They'll only come to you if you're facing them. Two enemies to go. Uh, I think that switch might raise a platform, so let's hold off on that for the moment. Now we'll get it. So I'm probably going to end up having to look at my map a lot here, just because the invisible enemies make it a little difficult. Go up here. Alright, so that's all of the stuff right here. Not entirely sure what that switch did. Oh, okay. I think we can go back down here. Well, maybe not. So it's just uh, basically a call button. 
Yeah, and that blocks the path. Uh, I'm actually going to leave it in the up position right now. I'm not sure if that will affect the other rooms. But we can definitely go around to do it, so... Just leave that there for now and head into the other room, just in case it does affect it. If we come down here, yeah, alright. Sixteen enemies, no treasure chest here. The different type of thing. Now we're shifting huge sections of the pyramid with these buttons. It's kind of crazy. There we go. Nice staircase there. And I think all of the enemies are discovered this way. I don't think there are any sections we need to necessarily aura through, but we'll find out pretty quickly. All right, two invisible enemies here. There we go. Uh, do I want to press this? Yes, I have to. Oh, oh, I hope I didn't just miss that. Hmm, we'll find out momentarily. I might have actually needed to get on that. Unfortunately, this does involve a, oh, hmm, does involve a lot of waiting around. Maybe not, because it is giving me the stairs here. Um, oh, there it is. It looks like there's an enemy here. Here, oh yeah, here we go. There's a ton of these guys here. And that's our last power-up for this section. Actually at half health, which is a little scary. Almost maxed out on lives, though. You know, we can only go to 9.99. 9 lives and 99 jewels. So I think... I go in this door. Alright, here's the lithograph. Yep. Alright, so this is the third one. And we can use the portal. I'm really glad those portals are here. In fact, I really wish they were in more places in the game, to be honest. There we go. And again, if we look at the journal, we can actually see the proper placement of all of, the, all of those. But I think I will pause there for now. Maybe do two of these per video. Might be able to do three in a different video when there's not a lot of explanation to do. So I will save here and we will continue in the pyramid next time. So thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.